Hey everyone, uh, today I wanted to demonstrate a new plugin I'm working on for Roblox Studio um, and I'm calling it Data Store Plus. And so this is kind of the, the next version of my old uh, Data Store Editor plugin, which is right here. Um, and so yeah, this, this plugin simply lets you query data from your data stores for your games and also edit data as well, which is always nice. It, it's just nice to have a visual to see your data somewhere. Um, however, this plugin just, I don't know, it, it got really messy, really big, and so I wanted to remake it. Um, but I also wanted to do something different. I didn't want to be stuck with uh, just being within studio for this. And so I figured, all right, well, how can I expand this? And so what I did is I took a, a Node.js server, and I figured a way to link it, the Node.js server between Roblox Studio and a web client. And so instead of having an interface right here within Studio, what you have is an interface within your browser, actually. Um, and so it's still early in development, but I wanted to show off what I have so far for it, just so people would be able to get a sense of what I'm working on and what, where I'm going with it. And so uh, I have my plugin code right here in Studio um, for, for the Studio side of things. And I'm using the uh, hot swap plugin in order to test it within this environment. And then I have my uh, server Node.js code here uh, with all the client code as well for the browser. And so I'm just going to start up the, uh, the server really quick. So if we go here and refresh, uh, this is the first page you'll see. See, I'm just load, uh, running this locally. And uh, it's saying awaiting sync and so it wants me to open up the plugin within studio to sync it up and so all I have to do is go to studio I'll try to do it side by side so we can see it happen oh my gosh so many windows uh... here we go and I'm going to run this play and then go to plugins oh my gosh this is a mess Maybe I'll have to do it from here. Wait. There must be a way. Aha! Data store. And so you'll see when I go to data store, I'm going to click the data store plugin, and the, the syncing in the background should disappear and it should display screen. So I click it, and it says synced. And you'll see in the, in the background, I have uh, a new page showing up. And so in Studio, all I'm getting is this little blue ribbon up here that says synced. Um, and that, that's all that happens studio side is you, you get a message of what's going on currently. Um, if it, it loses its sync for some reason it'll tell you and it'll give you a little button to try to resync. Um, it'll also do that in the other direction so I could have started the plugin first and then the Node.js server if I wanted to. It doesn't matter the order. And so here we go on the, on the browser side I have this little interface and so it kinda gives you details of what you should do um, and at the top here I have a, a little form for place ID, data store name, and data store scope. And to demo this I'm going to use data from my uh, theme park tycoon game. And so I just grab the place ID from the URL, paste it there, and then my data store name for this is my, uh, it's per player, so it's the player's ID in my case, and the scope is player data. So then I click connect, Boom. And so what, what happened when I clicked connect is it sent a message to Studio actually through my server and Roblox Studio then used the data store uh, service to grab the, the correct data store and connected essentially. <laughs> and so what we see here is uh, some information about the place we queried and so we, I get the, the place name, the creator, um, place ID, data store information. And then I also have a little key information here that I can do to query information. And so in this case I have uh, a data key called parks and this should give me a list of all the parks I have created under this user. So I click query, I actually get results here. And so I, I see that the type of result I got was a, a Lua table and I, I get value information. This is the, the actual data set in there. Uh, as you can see though, in this case it's uh, a JSON format, not Lua table. 
Um, this is just early version of this plugin here. And so I get uh, essentially a list of all the park names that I have under this game. Just really strange park names. <laughs> and uh, the way my, my data works is then the, the information for each park um, results as park underscore and the park name. So I have a park name called test. So I can do that and query that information. And then here I get information, the, the saved information for that park. And so I see how much money I have. I see the park name, park rating, cell size, um, etc. And so I can get rid of the key and query to clear this table. Um, and so yeah, it's, it's that simple to display data within your data stores. And that's all going through, it goes uh, from the web client to Node.js uh, to Roblox Studio. And essentially Node.js acts as a middleman here and uh, we have a, a socket essentially connecting Node.js to the web browser and they'll, they're communicating back and forth but then there's a, a pseudo socket using HTTP from Roblox Studio to the Node.js server as well that's communicating. And so essentially I can bounce messages back and forth between the three um, using sockets. And so if anyone's interested, a little code example of that. Uh, so let's say I press the button query key right here. What happens is my JavaScript client code uh, catches that submission here and I emit a message to my socket data store get with the key I wrote, wrote in that uh, little input box. And on Node.js server side, um, I can listen to that right here. So data store get. And when I hear that server side uh, from Node.js, I then emit that event back to my studio socket, which is just a, a fake socket version that I made uh, to communicate back and forth to studio. And then Roblox Studio, my client code, then hears that right here. Uh, picks it up, picks the key value, queries the information from the data store, and then emits it back to my socket. So then my socket picks it up right here. And then Node.js then notifies the client, which then picks it up right here, and then displays the result on screen on your browser. <laughs> and so it's, it's a lot of communication back and forth between them, uh, but results in some cool things. So that's what I have on this so far. Hopefully I have uh, a lot more to show later on. Um, and eventually I'll, I'll release this all for free when over. So uh, keep looking for updates on Twitter and stuff. <laughs> Adios.